Oh god, I messed up there, guys. So sorry. I know what I wanted to do, but for some reason I didn't press down for Blinky. I kind of thought his uh, jetpack, if you don't press anything, his jetpack would take him down, but obviously that didn't happen. It's a very awkward little section, this. Very annoying. But it can be done. Just gotta keep telling yourself it can be done. There we are. Alright, let's just do this. There we are. I've got to remember to press down when I if I try that again. Come on. Right, come on, dead eyes. All you now. Right, okay. Blinky. There we are. Like I said, I don't even use Jenny in this game. Um, I've only used her a handful of times, and she is useful. And the one time I did use her, she was incredibly useful. Right, now here, I've got to get this right, because I just keep messing up. Here we go. There we are. Now, the problem is, how do I get through this? Right, it looks like I have to climb up. There we are. And then I go down. Right, then I use um, Dead Eye Dog. Oh, and there's another section. Come on. Enough's enough. One thing this game does, though, it just gives you overkill. Right, here we go. Right, we're in the maze section now. Now, this section is a real pain. Anybody who's played Bucky O'Hare knows this section sucks, so expect to see me die time and time again on here. I'm absolutely crap at this, by the way. I don't even know what I'm doing. So if you stand somewhere you die, it's bizarre. I'm gonna be blinky because he's quick enough. It's like I don't know what to do. I can just get through. See look it gives me the exit, but I'm just never in a position where I can get to the exit. And then they end up falling, so yeah. This bit's a real pain, but it's okay. I'll keep trying. I'll keep trying. Keep trying. Right, if I could get through, that would be nice. I've no idea how I got through my practice run, to be honest. Just seem to automatically do it. Right, okay. Oh, now I'm going to fall. So it puts the exit, but the exit's always like above me. Oh! Almost made it. I almost had it as well. So, I almost kind of make it. But you've got to know that you're going to be going to the exit. Oh! Almost made it again, guys. Almost made it. Right, I think he's going to do it this time. Yeah, see, I just... I can't get to that exit in time. Oh, my God. This is freaking... I tell you what, guys. This is the worst freaking level ever. It's horrible. I will keep trying though. Again, God knows how I did it in my practice run because I don't have a freaking Scooby Doo. Oh, come on, baby, come on. Come on, please. There we go. Just made it through. So that's the first one, so it can be done. Just, you've got to be like really quick off the mark, basically. There you go. Making progress now, so that's two I've got through. Right, okay. And I'm on Act 10 already, so I'm literally almost there. I've got like three more things to deal with, and then that's it. Right, I think I, I get it, this one. There you go. Nice. I'm doing surprisingly well. Normally I'd, I'd, I'd struggle with this sort of thing. Oh, 
Right, okay. I just need to be a bit quicker. So I'm going to get Blinky out because he's slightly quicker. And then I'll, I'll climb in and I'll, I'll do my best. I might just be able to make it. If I get on the edge. Oh! Almost made it, guys. Almost made it. But this is the dilemma I had last night when I was practicing. I was like, oh my god. You know, I'd, I'd get to this point and I'd, I'd be like a second off because you've got to know when to jump. There you go. Mum's through. Bob's your uncle. Right, now this bit's really annoying. Battle toad esque snakes here. Right, is the, the head's going to come for me? I think the head sort of comes up now. Okay. Let me just get rid of this guy. Okay, I guess he's not going to go. There we go. On to the next section. Bloody hell, I'm doing really well. Now, for this thing, um, I would recommend let the snake do its thing first before you um, use Blinky to jetpack over because the snake head is going to come back towards you, I think. There you are. So you've got to let it, he says, let it do its thing. <laughs> right, okay. Just let it... Let it go, let it go. That's all you can do, basically. Oh, for crying out loud. Bugger off, pal. Right, okay. Right, I think he's doing his thing now, anyway. Right, I've got to get past this arsehole. I think he's gone, though. Yeah, there's respawning enemies. Right. Oh my god, there's yet another one. Yeah, I'm close to the boss now anyway, and the boss is absolutely my favourite on the whole game. Even though I keep losing on it, I absolutely love this boss fight. It's that old NES feeling you get of, oh my god, I'm going to beat the boss, I'm going to beat the boss, and you get that old adrenaline rush. I think a lot of old school gamers can really identify with that. Right, there's a life there, so I'm going to... See if I can get that. There we are. Right, and I think I'm on the boss now, all being well. Let's see if I can beat him first. First time. I'm getting cocky there. That's me getting cocky, by the way. Oh my god. Yeah, it always happens. I get cocky and then I get shut down. But I'm alright, I'm doing really well for time as well. I thought this would take me a lot longer than, than what it did. But you know what? Even if I die on the boss, that's okay. Right, this snake has uh, finally gone down. Oh, what's he doing now? Okay, that thing just committed suicide. Oh, come on! It's bullshit. I'm sorry, but this is bullshit. It's like... The only thing that annoys me about this game is that bit, basically. Right, I should be able to do it now, guys. Let's get that, um... I might be able to just get everything, actually. There we are. Right, boss time. Now, what you want to do, guys, is you want to be Bucky. You want to blast that thing. And then duck. And then get back on board. It's basically a three part fight this. You need to get rid of those lasers first. Yeah I've got rid of one. Now to get rid of the other one. Bear in mind you've got the toads to avoid. As soon as that gate opens, move back this way. And then, oh, he says as he shoots up. I can do this, I promise you. I just wasn't expecting to do this so quickly. Or take this amount of damage as well. So early on.
Yeah, but this, believe it or not, is my favourite boss fight. Right, there we go. Once you get rid of the one laser, look, this little hatch opens up and you need to take out the toes. Now, remember, you can't touch the boss because if you touch the boss, then you die. So it's like you've got to keep going. It's one of these old school boss battles. I tell you, kids today, they don't know they're born. There we are. Oh, there we are. Now the next part of the fight is you've got to destroy this uh, glass thing. Destroy the glass thing. Keep blasting away. It's alright, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. Just keep blasting away. Keep blasting away. Gotta keep doing it. There you go, and boom! I blew it up. Fantastic. There you go, guys. And that's probably the best freaking best uh, set of videos I've ever done uh, for Bucky O'Hare. Destroyed it in like was it my second or third try? But yeah, it's quite easy when you know what to do, and you get this lovely little cutscene as well. Hurry up, let's bust out of here, troops. This thing's about to blow. We're out of here, Captain. Captain, I guess they're trying to say right. And there you go, guys. So thank you very much. It's been Richard Lucas with some more Bucky O'Hare. Thank you so much for taking the time to check out my retro play channel and my videos. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to the support channel. Keep checking back for new retro content. And please don't forget to give me some feedback as well. And join me next time as I'll be delving deeper it's still into Bucky O'Hare where I believe I'll be on the kind of last section of the game which is a real shame because I'm having such a blast with this game literally I enjoy everything about this game and even the bits I thought were difficult can be achieved um, particularly with the maze because I know a lot of people have said in reviews the maze is the thing that really lets this game down but to be honest you, you, you saw me